10 points for him and a 28-23 spirit lead. And look who's going to come in shortly. Randy Denton. Here. And we get a walking call on Moses Malone. Ron Thomas. Top of the key, Thomas. Left side, Newman. Long jump is in and out. Rebound taken by Randy Denton, who has just come in for the Spirits at center, replacing Caldwell Jones. Louis Dampier brings it out against Mike Barr. Bounce pass down low for Gilmore. Knocked away, loose on the floor, and stolen by Marvin Barnes. Barnes and Denton had him surrounded and combined to knock it away. Front he leads Averitt in the front court. The bird on the dribble against Barr. Down low, wide open. Will Jones, reverse layup doesn't drop, but he was fouled by Randy Denton. This morning's paper uh, containing a story in St. Louis about how Randy Denton was unhappy with not playing very much, picking up splinters on the bench, and mentioned how he might not mind a trade if he did not get some playing time. Mike Barr did not make similar comments, at least uh, comments that were published, but he too has not played very much of late. And now in the first half, both of them are in the ball game as Joe Mullaney seeks to avoid what has plagued the Spirits over the past three consecutive games which they have lost, and that is his principal players running out of steam late in the game. He on Kentucky, the Spirits have committed only one team foul in the period. St. Louis ball out of bounds. Mike Barr at the foul line, dishes to Denton, his one-hander, bang. Randy's very good at that, just facing the basket 15 feet out, that quick jumper. Soft touch. Spirit lead is six. Out of the foul circle, Denton, guarded by Gilmore, puts it on the floor, then hands to Boone. The Booner starts a triple, down the lane, back to Denton, he puts it up, blocked away by Gilmore. What a foul on the play as Denton looked for the stuff. Denton at the line for a pair. On the season, Randy is shooting 81% from the line, and he makes the first. 39-32, a seven-point lead for the Spirits. And now eight as Denton makes the move. And Kentucky gets the ball back. Thomas bounces into Gilmore, guarded by Denton. Randy giving away at least four inches. Off to Averett. The bird fires up the corner jump that's an air ball. Hits Zippo, comes down on the hands of Denton. He throws to Boone underneath Marvin, lays it up, and it in. And Friday, against the Indiana Indiana Pacers at the arena. Game time is 8 o'clock. That is ladies' night. All women admitted to the $3 and $5 sections for half price. And at halftime, every lady in attendance is entitled to shoot one free throw in the Spirits' halftime free throw contest. And if you make the foul shot, you win $50 in prizes. So a good opportunity to see a good game at a good price and possibly walk out a big winner picking up 50 bucks worth of gifts at halftime. It should be fun with the ladies' shootout on ladies' night this Friday against the Indiana Pacers, and that is a game. 47-34, Spirits by 13, Denton at the foul line against Gilmore, down the lane, running hook, he missed it, tried to tip his own shot, and on the follow try, he is going to be called for a rebounding foul. An artist is called for the foul. It is on artist Gilmore, you're can't right. can't believe it. Kentucky crowd does not like that. Hubie Brown does not like that at all. Hubie Brown is really a volatile coach. He reacts yelling at the officials all game long and yelling at his own players. And many of his players are not especially fond of Hubie Brown for that reason, because even guys who have given him phenomenal performances on balance throughout the course of the season, guys like Gilmore and Lucas, are not immune when they play badly uh, in individual spots. He will erupt at them just like he will erupt at a second-rate substitute. Coach, that must be said. He took them to the championship in his first year last year. Denton makes them both, and Averitt fires from the top of the key no good, and Denton has the rebound. Spirits by 15 and with the ball, 49-34. Here is Ron Boone against the bird with the foul line one-hander. Yes! What a good night Randy's having. He must feel he has something to prove here tonight. He's really proving it. He's playing extremely well. Is that the Spirits were guilty of nine turnovers in the period against three for Kentucky. The free throws are split by ML Carr. He makes one out of two. Spirits come back down now with the ball off a steal, and here is ML throwing in an impossible shot. 91 to 77. The Spirit lead is down to 14 with 10-20 to play in the game. Freddie Lewis against Joyce. Down low to Denton over Thomas. It's blocked away by Gilmore, and that's got to be goaltending. It is. And a foul. Goaltending and a foul. Denton is going to be at the line, and this could be a three-point play. Let's pause for a moment. Denton's free throw is good. A three-point play for Randy with 5.22 to play in the game now, up 106.92. Spirit ball after the timeout. Lucas and Abram have come back into the Colonel lineup. Ron Boone on the dribble to the foul line. Feeds off to Denton. Nice pass, and Randy dunks it. Boone could have popped the jumper 